Oh, so, okay, so looking at the footage, there are two. <clears throat> okay, so looking at the footage side by side. Okay, so looking at the footage side by side, uh, there are a few things you need to notice. The version 2, the closest, uh, the, focus, the shortest focusing distance is a little bit uh, longer. <clears throat> okay, so looking at the footage side by side, uh, you need to notice the version 2, the wider version, version 2, the shortest focusing distance is a little bit longer around one meter will be the clearest because uh, I just use the camera maybe 20 centimeters in front of my face the version one looks pretty clear I lots of detail and um, but it, about the version two um, my face just looks like it's not in focus so the closest focus in distance is a little bit longer on the version two you need to notice <coughs> And about the noise pattern, I think the sensor they're doing something different because the noise pattern uh, is a looks. <coughs> and second, the and second the noise pattern looks a little bit different uh, compared. And second, the noise pattern looks a little bit different. And second, the noise pattern looks a little bit different. Uh, on the version one, there are more uh, color noise, uh, the red, red and blue dot, the color noise. But the version two looks like there are more monochrome noise in the image. So different noise, I don't know, just looks different and feel different. At the same and at the same settings, definitely the version two use a higher ISO. And and look at the image you can see. And in a, and the version two. And the version two, they definitely using a higher ISO too. And the version two definitely are using higher ISO because the noise is just more obvious. Later, I will do an ISO 100 test and check out the. And definitely, the version two is using a higher ISO. Maybe the lens aperture is a little bit um, smaller, I think, because definitely the noise. <laughs> is much more obvious later I will do a ISO 100 lab test in my room so if you're interested about the lens quality the image sensor quality that kind of stuff scientific stuff uh, wait till the end wait till the end of the video
talking about the color and compare the color side by in comparative in comparative in comparative color side by side I think the in compared to color side by side I think the white balance and if you are going to use this camera out of the box and do and if you are going to use this camera out of the box and do if you are going to use this camera out of the box and do if you don't if you are going to use these camera out of the box, the version 2, the color looks more natural. The white balance looks more on... If you are going to use these camera out of the box, the version 2, the color looks more natural, but the sh shadow, the dark part, uh, the version 2 have a weird magenta tint in there so um, If you are going to use these camera out of the box, the version 2 color looks more natural, but the shadow part, the dark shadow part, uh, the version 2 have a weird magenta tint in there. Mm -hmm. But overall, the version 2 looks better. But overall, but overall the but overall version 2 looks definitely definitely looks better but overall, version 2 definitely looks better. And about the X mode. And about the and about the X view. And it and about the 4K 30 frame per second X view. They are actually recording the entire 4x3 sensor and sh just sm and and about the 4K 30 frame X view. They are actually recording the 4x3 sensor and squeeze it into the 16x9 aspect ratio, so you can get some more uh, top and bottom in your image and maybe use use gyro flow that kind of stuff you have more room to stabilize your image and have a wider taller not wider taller image so pretty good x view just like recording 4x3 in the uh, uh, gopro and do it in the real steady that kind of stuff pretty cool but you are not actually recording 4x3 you are actually <coughs> they just Jesus Christ.
Okay, so this is the end of this Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K comparison between the version 1 and version 2. I think the version 2 is definitely better choice and uh Okay, so this is the end of the Okay, so this is the end of this Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K comparison video. Okay, so this is the end of this Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K version 1 and version 2 comparison video. Okay, so this is the end of this Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K comparison video. Okay, so this is the Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K version 1 and version 2 comparison video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure to subscribe. Okay, so this is the end of this Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K. Okay, so this is the end of this Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K comparison video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more. Okay, so this is the Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K comparison video. So if you like this video, press a like, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more filmmaking stuff, photography stuff, check out this playlist. My name is Kai Yuan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.